Holy shit, what a fucking beautiful day it is. God, I cannot fucking believe it. It is like the end of December and God, it's like mid 60s right now. Granted, we did just have a shitload of rain. <clears throat> so it's kind of understandable. But, uh, holy fuck, does it feel great right now. I'm wearing, I get a, like a light hoodie and my jacket on. And it's fucking perfect. And there's a dog over there yapping at me. Gonna check the mail. Oh. God, it feels so good to just go fucking ride. That sucks being fucking pent up in the house. Because the fucking weather's been so bad. Uh, well, it's not even really, the weather's not really been bad, it's just like, it's just been annoying. <laughs> like on some days, this last week, it's been, that was random. Some days it's been, um, it's been like just drizzling enough that you could go ride. I mean, granted, you'd be wet. Oh, Tessa, you are a pretty girl. You're dirty. But you're pretty. And you're running right. And you sound good. Might have to get you some new shoes soon. All that highway mileage on the rear tires. Starting to show. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so. This is the world. Man, that is a pretty sweet world. <clears throat> so, a lot of my on the bike stuff that I've been doing recently. But with going to Blood Mountain and everything um, that's not been like a typical vlog has been focused on me trying to get my knee down um, going up Blood Mountain and as you guys know a few weeks back I was able to actually finally achieve that goal and it was fucking unbelievable like I legitimately didn't fucking believe that I was able to get my knee down on the pavement fucking tore a hole in my on my winter pants. Um, so picked up the uh, the Sidichi tracksuit, and I have boots on order. They should be on the way, if not by like tomorrow, sometime middle of this next week. Um, and I really like my goal is to get all you know, get all my gear set. I'm not really sure if I'm going to get another helmet just for the track. Um, I'm not really, like I've been in the variant at, a, you know, at 110, so I know what it feels like and it's not bad at all, especially given the fact that I've got this big ass windshield I can tuck behind, but um, I don't know, I just don't, I don't know what I should do if I end up doing a track day soon. I don't know if I want to actually use a variant or use something else, but anyways, so once I get all the, my gear taken care of, that's a fucking cul-de-sac, isn't it? Uh, no it's not. Um, I really want to get Tessa ready, and there's a couple things that I need to do to kind of like tick off the list to get Tessa mechanically ready. Um, I have to, I finally got all the oil change stuff fixed, 
next stop is um, I need to uh, rebuild the valve cover gasket because that one's leaking. Um, I'm going to swap out sprockets, rebuild the rear uh, caliper and the rear uh, disc. I'll have to get a whole nother rotor. Um, and steel braided front brake line. And there's something else. Why? Oh, uh, I need to redo the front fork seals, and then she should be uh, should be ready to go. But my biggest concern is like whether or not I can uh, have like I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have frame sliders, uh, plastic puck frame sliders. And I don't know if they make engine guards, the like bolt-on engine guards, the case guards, uh, for Tessa. I haven't done any research into it, I haven't looked into it, but... If any of you guys know kind of general track day... Um, general track day stuff, definitely let me know in the comments. Because if I can have plastic sliders, I would love to. I, I really would love to, to be able to save Tessa's uh, bodywork if something ever happened. I don't want to have to buy a whole other set of fairings to swap out for track days. I mean, I totally could. They're cheap, but I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it would be a pain. But, uh, yeah, so it's looking like in 2015, um, the... The plan is sometime around March or April, once the summer gets, or the spring gets rolling, um, I'll, uh, I'll start getting ready for doing track day stuff. It's, <laughs> I'm excited, like, I really am, and I know, I know it's like four or five months out, but I'm, I'm excited to get the chance to be able to legitimately put knee to pavement and not have to worry about anything else. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I've never been down this road before. But, uh, yeah. If you guys have done any track days, um, definitely kind of drop any advice that you guys have. Not on, like, skill or, or technique, but, like, getting ready for it, what to do while you're there. Um, I'm sure I'll read through a bunch of guides and forums and stuff like that on things to help track days go a little bit smoother but my biggest concern is uh, making sure that once I am ready and I do have everything set up I don't fuck it up while I'm there man I'll tell you what after I uh, after putting on the track suit I feel vulnerable when I'm like going through corners like this and I know that I shouldn't really feel that way but I just can't help it like holy fuck this road is awesome not know this all existed out here. But, uh, yeah, if you guys have any advice or anything, or um, uh, even different tracks to try out that are really fun, definitely drop them in the comments. I think that would be really cool to check them out. Because I'm not, I have a bunch of friends that do track day stuff, but I'm on a 500cc bike, so different tracks are kind of more or less tuned for different, uh, different styles of bikes. Oh, I guess I could have turned around right there. Um, and I mean, the closest track to me is Road Atlanta, which I would love to go do. And, I, and I'm hoping that that will end up being my first one. 
But I've had some people tell me that Rotolan is really fast, and and, I, and it's not an insult to me when, when someone says that because Tessa's not a fast bike. I mean, it's a 500cc carbureted bike. They're, they weren't designed for top end. They were designed for, you know, kind of commuter style bikes. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys have any advice, drop it below. I'm going to head back through these twisties really quick. Enjoy him one last time. Like I was on a dirt bike. <laughs>